Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Mariah and today and before I get into today's topic, I just wanted to let you know that I decided to add a, another section to my YouTube channel and it's going to be on missing and mistreated disabled people. Today's topic is the suspicious disappearance of Carly Fleeserman. Someone suggested that I do a video on her and after learning about how she disappeared, I thought it was an important thing, uh, important video to do. To be upfront, this video talks a little bit about sexual molestation that is involved in this case. If there's something that bothers you, it's okay if you don't want to watch this video. I would rather you look after yourself because your emotional and mental health is more important. And the first article that I used was called Carly's Voice, and this is from the Simon and Shu Hizer website. Carly Grace Fleeserman was born to parents Tammy and Arthur Fleeserman on January 26, 1995 in Canada. She has an older brother, Matthew, and a twin, Taryn, who is 14 minutes younger than her. Carly was diagnosed with autism because of her lack of eye contact, social engagement, and speech, having apraxia, a motor planning deficiency in which the muscles in her mouth failed to Oh, sorry, to obey the directions from her brain and assign the label GDD or Global Developmental Delay because she was missing most of her developmental milestones such as walking, talking, playing, and following basic instructions at the age of two. By the age of 10, Carly had a breakthrough while working with her devoted therapist. Carly reached ov over to their laptop and typed, help teeth hurt teeth hurt such much to everyone's astonishment the second article that i read was called Car carly fleeserman the the genius of autism and this is from the fandom fandom website carly is a remarkable canadian young lady who has defied all odds and inspired people worldwide although she was diagnosed with with autism oral motor apraxia and a cognitive delay as a child her voice eventually carried came out and she is now successfully communicates through her computer her iq has been confirmed to be over 130 she's an author a songwriter and since 2016 she is a part of a talk show and has become a public speaker through her computer her memoir carly's voice is a in production at simon and shoe his herb and is available online and at popular book retailers she is included on this list of great women of our time and is the winner of the 2019 donna williams bravery award and the last article that i used was called where's carly fleeserman and this is from the autistic rants website she is beloved in the autistic community in early Sorry, in early 2019, Carly posted on her Facebook to say that she had been molested by her father's boyfriend and that her father was not being supportive of her in the aftermath of that. A lot of people were very concerned and many said that the tone and content led, to, led them to believe that she was in immediate danger. The post or post the disappeared along with her personal Facebook page and was quickly followed up with a post to her public page on February 3rd, 2019. And it says, it took me a, took, I took down my old post because people were threatening my family's life. They put my address online that made me unsafe. I started working on making my life a safer place. My parents have heard my voice. They will listen to words to keep me safe. Thank you for believing my words. I am safe. Two days later, a new post was made on her Facebook page and has been deleted and the tr truncated version remains on her Twitter account. This is an administrator of Carly's account, not Carly. This account was hacked. The last verifiable post by Carly was made on May 30th, 2018. We have locked down the account. Carly is safe and well, but was taking a dot dot dot. And that's the last the world heard from Carly. 
If the follow-up post were Carly, many of us have our doubts on any of her publicly facing social media accounts and in the media. To add to all of that, both her father, Arthur, and her brother, Matthew, have been presenting conflicting information. There is a screenshot on the left that shared in the article that shows the father's reply to her post about being sexually assaulted by her father's boyfriend. And that post talked about how he said that the boyfriend didn't mean what he did, um, which made it, made it seem like he didn't take it seriously. And the image on the right that was shared in the article shows that the bro- the brother claimed that her account was really hacked. If the post about being sexually assaulted was a hack, why would her father respond in such a way? That is not the way someone who has just learned of such an allegation will respond. It's the response of someone who's already been gaslighting a victim over the alleged, I mean, of the allegation would respond. If there was no assault and the account was truth, the account truly was hacked. Any father would respond in a very different way. So why is the why is the brother claiming a hack? What exactly is the family trying to cover up? Where is Carly? It's been over a year since the vulnerable abuse survivor spoke out and was silent. Around, asking around the community, not even people who knew her personally have heard from her or have been able to make contact. For the past year, community members have been asking about her whereabouts for confirmation that she is okay, etc., to uh, receive absolute radio silence. There have been posts made by people saying that people are claiming to be people who people claiming to be Carly's family have asked them autistics online to remove any any post asking if Carly is okay. It has been now, sorry, it has been going on for more than a year now, and the current pin post on Carly's page from 2018 reads, sorry, starts out like this. Please click share and like to show Kevin and sorry Kevin my superhero your love. I've asked I was asked why I'm not posting personal experiences or my thoughts anymore. The truth is that I'm forced I'm forced into relationships with my family members that are only looking out for their own egos and I was told that they are all forced into these relationships but they are doing the opposite and don't even invite crucial people or encourage people crucial people to come to their weddings hypocrites enough about my crazy life i'm going to post a personal facebook post over four years ago i became pen pals with a tv personality his name is kevin presumably that's not a hacked post as it's been up this whole time so i asked again where's carly frankly i'm tired of asking and seeing the community ask to learn nothing i'm tired of worrying that we're going to see her name pop up on the disability disability day of mourning both for 2019 and 2020. I've scanned the the list of new murder victims dreading to see her name. Note, statistically, the greatest threat to an average autistic person tends to be their caregivers. That's why we not only have a disability day of mourning that have that we have enough of our own murdered by caregivers to necessitate such an observation day. But also why the average lifespan of an autistic person is 35 years old. Think about that. More needs to be done. This I'm putting this out here, there now. Spread the word. If you know anyone with the Toronto Police or any other organization that can check in on her, please get them involved. Also, due to the note of Carly's communication and suspicious circumstances surrounding the disappearance from her disappearance from social media, please trust only visual communication either in person or by video there are many sorry there have been many instances now of posts claiming to be carly that mm, did not sound like her given that it appears that her father wanted her silence be sure that carly is actually carly not someone speaking on her behalf please and thank you here's what we know the location was to the location that she was last seen was either in toronto or the great toronto area her father's name is Arthur Fleeserman. Her older brother's name is Matthew. Her twin's name is Taryn, and her mother's name is Tammy Star, according to Twitter. Note, for some reason, 
Her mother was tagged in Carly's Twitter account as recently as April 2020, though nothing was posted to the account since February 2019. Where's Carly? I'm not an investigator. I have no idea how to look into any of this or how to get results. I'm hoping that using my platform for good to amplify any t- to amplify any chances we'll find her. I hope that she's okay. hope she's out of a danger and no longer being molested and allowed to communicate in some way, even if not with the community that cares about her and is, and is very concerned about her well-being. Thanks in advance for any help that you can provide. I hope that this video helps with finding Carly and brings um, about bring this case into the spotlight in order to um, help her, sorry, in order to allow her loved ones, family, fa- I mean, sorry, loved ones, friends, and fans, or in those who care about her to get the answers about, about her whereabouts. Um, I'm always open to any suggestions you have for any future video topics. Please let me know what they're in the comment section below or on my Twitter p- page at um, Burley Mariah, and I can spell it for you at B-U-R-L-E-Y-M-A-R-I-H. My next video might be on the top 10 facts of Eddie Dupu. Sorry, Dupu. This topic was suggested to me by someone from the disabled community website that I'm part of called Different, Different and Abled. I hope everyone's going to stay safe. I will post my notes in the comment section for anyone who needs them. Please like, share, and subscribe if you want to and found this video to be helpful. Please share this video because everyone wants her to be found safe and well. I want, uh, sorry, if you want to be notified for when I do a lo- any live streams or upload any new content, you're going to want to click the bell icon, and under the bell icon, you're going to select the all options. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. Bye.